This is my third scratch built plane and it's also the first one that's completely my own design. I did base it partly off of this photo I found online, so if you happen to know what plane that is, you should tell me because I found it pretty cool looking. The most difficult part of this model was the wing, which is a uh, similar design to the Armin wing design that was made popular by Experimental Airlines, except that it tapers towards the wing tips and it also has some dihedral that makes the plane more stable. To get that dihedral, I set up the balsa wood spars like this, and then when I folded over the foam board, this is what the final wing looked like. The body itself is pretty standard. It's mostly foam board with some plastic reinforcement in the front, and the servos are moved about as far forward as I could with the length of rods that I had just to keep the center of gravity from moving too far back. Another thing they did want to share uh, about this plane is that the wheels and the wings are actually magneted on. So you can see there's two magnets under that tape and the, uh, the wheels are held on to the wing using that and then also the wing has the same thing where there's magnets on the fuselage and then on the wing and uh, they just lock the wing in place like that. So I have not had any issues with uh, things falling uh, apart during flight or landing or flying inverted or anything like that but when people crash it, and I've had a fair bit of that because I've crashed it myself and I've taught uh, two other people to fly using this plane, uh, nothing really gets damaged. It just falls apart and then I, I just snap it back together. Hey, cool, you're good. Oh, you added a... Uh...